we are gonna see if this new layout works. Hey guys, it's Riley and welcome to my channel on this lovely Tuesday. The first thing I wanted to do is apologize for not having a trans education video out last week. I had actually filmed it all and had it all and edited and ready and it was exporting and then stuff crashed, lost all the raw footage and the edited footage so I wasn't really able to put anything up and it was incredibly last minute so I'm very very sorry there was not a trans ed. But here I am, I am back and I'm basically going to be recreating the video that I had filmed last week because I still really want to talk about the stuff that was in it so here we go. I just kind of want to talk to you guys about updates and things that are going on in my life transition wise and yeah. And the first thing with that would actually be that I now have a date for a consultation with a surgeon about top surgery which means I would get all these removed. Which honestly the idea of that makes me so incredibly happy because it's been something that I've been working on happening for years and like I finally have a date for it and it's like such an incredible accomplishment almost. P.S. My dog is in here and playing and going insane so if something happens um, you know that dog is in here. So yeah top surgery thing is really cool that I finally have a date for a consultation for a surgeon that I've been trying to get for years and years and years and it is finally here and I'm finally ready and I'm honestly so 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 pumped about it. Another thing that I wanted to talk about is that I've been on a little bit of a road to self discovery recently and while I still identify as male and still use he him pronouns and all of that good stuff I definitely feel that I am more on the queer and non-binary spectrum, mainly because I don't conform to traditional gender stereotypes. I'm a very androgynous person and I have quite a feminine personality and I think it's okay and something that makes me comfortable to call myself a non-binary trans guy because I don't fit in the standard binary of male and female. I'm feeling really good about identifying that way and I think I am a lot more comfortable now that I'm identifying that way because it says to myself basically that I don't have to be strictly feminine or strictly masculine and I can kind of do what I want. Also apologies for lighting changes because it is almost 4 p.m. Lighting is going all over the place. Sun's going down. I'm just so happy that I'm finally getting to the place where I'm at in my transition where I'm comfortable to say that I'm non-binary and I'm also very comfortable and very excited to be getting top surgery and I'm so so pumped to be getting top surgery guys I don't think you have any idea unless you are also a trans guy because I feel like if you're a trans guy you understand kind of like what I'm going through and like the emotions that I'm feeling especially if you're post-op like I am honestly freaking out and it's just a consultation it's not even a surgery date but you know what it's something but you know what it's something and I think that's what means more to me than anything is that I am continuing progress. It's also really cool to me because I think this is the last step in a transition that I'm gonna take. I have no need, want, desire to get bottom surgery so top surgery is kind of like the be all end all for me. It's the end of my physical transition and I've obviously already socially transitioned but it's crazy to think that like this is the end, like this is the last thing I have to do and then I'm golden. And it's honestly such a cool thing to like think about and it's such a cool accomplishment for me and I hope you guys are happy for me and if you are down the road to discovering your identity in any way I'm so happy for you and it's just insane how things are going now. So I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of update on identity for me and a little bit of update on surgery transition stuff. I also wanted to end this on an open discussion for you guys down in the comments to comment some video ideas that you would like me to do for trans education specifically. So if there's anything that you want me to touch, is there anything that you want me to talk about or to teach you about, please, please, please let me know down in the comments below because I would really appreciate your input and being able to interact with you guys through video. If you enjoyed this video in any sense, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Are you queer? If so, are you out? I don't know, if you're comfortable leaving that comment, leave that comment. If you're not comfortable leaving that comment, come up with another comment. If you want to see some more of my trans education videos or some normal videos in general, you might want to subscribe to my channel because I post two videos a week on a normal basis. You should also head over and follow all of my social media if you would like. It is at the Riley Kyle. I have definitely been going on queer rants on my Twitter recently, so if you would like to see those, head over there, click that follow button. And any other links that are associated with me or that I have will be in the description so be sure to check those out if you would like to. That's all I have for you guys today. I love you and I will see you on Thursday. Bye! Thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe if you want. Maybe not. Just click like. Join the family. The party never ends. Here on YouTube.com
Hi. Are you bothering me through this video? Hello. Hello. 